Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker makes a stop here in the state line. He was in town to continue his push to change how the state's health care system works. Drea Baroni was there for the governor's visit. Drea he says he wants to remove barriers for patients. Yeah, Tom Governor Pritzker has been rallying support across Illinois hospitals for the Health Care Protection Act. He's over at OSF St. Anthony today talking about what this bill could mean for patients, doctors, and insurance companies. With this bill, we're putting power back in the hands of doctors and patients. Governor J.B. Pritzker takes a step towards reforming the health insurance system through the Health Care Protection Act. For far too long, insurance companies, not doctors, have been free to determine what treatment options patients should have and how quickly they can receive it. The bill targets delays and denials from insurance companies. Too many patients get hit with an unexpected roadblock when they're forced to wait a long time for permission from their insurance provider before they can receive care. It's an unhealthy and an unfair system. For both patients and doctors, like Lisa Davis, chief medical officer at OSF. Well, my colleagues here will say that they spend a large portion of their days not doing that direct hands-on patient care that they need to do, but fielding the, the landmines that they encounter with trying to do what's best for our patients. The HPA passed through the House last week with bipartisan support. If it gets through the Senate, Illinois would be the first state to ban prior authorization in a hospital setting for mental health care. Those who are in crisis should never be forced to navigate difficult insurance policies, especially in those moments of crisis. It also adds Illinois to a list of 12 states banning junk insurance plans, which offer temporary and often incomplete coverage. This bill will save lives and it will lower health care costs for millions of Illinoisans. While the bill heads over to the Senate for a vote, Governor Pritzker seemed confident of its approval. It would end up back on the governor's desk to be signed into law. Tom? All right, thank you, Drea.